guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a felted pocket. So first I'm laying out the fiber vertically and I'm going to lay another cross-hatched layer perpendicular to the first layer. And then I'm going to wet my project down, so I'm just creating a art canvas to work from. I'm going to add some soap and put my bubble wrap on top, bubble side down. I love using a lot of water. I like to make my project super wet. It's just helpful because I don't have to add more water later on in the process. So I just like everything to be nice and wet. I like my edges to be nice and wet. And I really love folding my edges over. I like just a clean, clean, crisp look. The edges don't end up straight necessarily. You can refine the edges in the end. So now I'm just creating the resist for my felted pocket and I'm just rounding the corners every single corner just a little bit so that the wool doesn't get stuck on the edge of the corner. I've decided to cut a piece of felt for the inside of my pocket. You could cut anything for the inside of your pocket. You could create any felt design for the inside. You could make a sun or a smiley face or a flower or you could make a little animal peeking out of the pocket. The ideas and things that you can make with felted pockets are pretty endless. So I'm going to lay my pre-felt on my canvas first. Then I'm going to lay my resist on top. And I'm going to cover the resist because I want to make a fairly thick felt pocket. I don't want my felt pocket to be floppy and I especially want to make sure the edge of my felt pocket is nice and thick. The edge where the cut is does tend to stretch a little bit and so making it thicker will stop it from stretching too much. I'm also covering my pocket in a cross hatch manner. I like to keep things consistent and this is kind of just how I make my felt projects. I, I like to think simply and keep it simple and for me laying out my fiber crosshatch ensures it shrinks evenly in all directions. Now I am placing my visual pocket on piece. This is the artwork of the project. This is just something that I wanted to make stand out. I thought it would be quite fun but you don't have to add anything to the outside of your pocket. You could just leave it as a discrete pocket. You could add a border to the top of your pocket to make that stand out a little bit more as well. So like in some of my other videos, I have been adding this little loop at the top of my felted projects because I thought maybe I will hang all of them, but also I can hang them on the wall and take a photo near a window, and so that's kind of helpful. So I've been adding these loops and exploring these loops, and it's been quite fun actually because I've been able to get a little bit more creative. I've been discovering some new techniques. Another technique I discovered is this merino wool yarn, this brushed merino yarn from Ashford, and it sticks to the fiber very easily and it makes such a nice border. It's a very subtle border, but when it is dry, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It really makes my pre-felt pictures pop and stand out. When I'm making pre-felt pictures, I don't usually spend too much time giving it a massage. Simply flip it over and begin to felt my project. I really love working with techniques and elements that do not take too long to adhere to the fiber. I can see now that the felt is beginning to buckle and this is normally when I take my resist out. This is when I know I need to take my resist out, especially for other projects. When the felt has attached together and it begins to create a ripple in the felt, I know that I just need to take out the resist. I love working with my hands right on the towel. I get my felt super wet and I begin to roll it. The water helps the felt shrink more quickly and the water helps prevent the felt from pilling on the towel and I just love the grippiness of the felt right against the towel. I can really get it to shrink quickly. Most often when taking the resist out, the felt will begin to attach to the other side of the project and so you just have to remember to push that pocket out and detach those fibers in the pocket, making sure that nothing is attaching and sticking because at the end, by the time you know it, you're going to have a pocket that has stuck to the other side of your canvas. I am going to trim and begin shaping my felt. I don't really like this white border, so I'm going to take it off. I also don't like these corners. They're very pointy and I just haven't worked on my skill set of avoiding putting too much felt onto the corners. But simply for me personally, I just like to cut them off because I often shape my fiber in the end. 
there's a lot of felting and fulling to go and so cutting the edges at this point isn't going to create a hard edge. I can still felt them for a beautiful fine looking and very smooth edge. And giving your fiber a stretch. Giving it a stretch will allow the fibers to open up and allow the fiber to shrink even more. Don't click away yet. The finishing of your felt is the most important part of felting your piece of artwork. The edges are so important. Working these edges for a very long time. The longer you work your edges, the smoother and more beautiful results you are going to get. Really taking your time, working at every edge, working on the details, working on the holes, working on the corners, felting them in every direction from every single angle. When I know I am done felting my project, I am going to begin rolling it on a dry towel to take the water out. The soap is no longer in there. I have dipped it in my water so many times as part of my felting process, so this naturally has removed the soap from my project. And I also find rolling it on the towel, you can begin to see the beautiful results you are achieving. It's the best part and the most fulfilling part of the felt project. Rolling it on a dry towel so you can see the time and work that you spent in your project, you get to see the results. It was going to look similar to what it might look like when it's dry. Also, the dry towel will help the fiber to felt up more quickly and even more. It's going to make your felt nice and strong. It's going to give it that extra binding in the end, and it's going to create a little bit more of an even look. You can really see the creases and the curves where you need to roll it in order to finish it. So now the pocket is almost finished and I really love this pocket. I really love this, and as I've been working on this project, I have thought of so many different ideas and so many different things that I can do. I can apply so many other techniques to the pocket. I can add felt beads, I can add sparkles, I can add holes, I can do so many things. Begin shaping your felt exactly how you want it to look when it's dry. Most often, the felt will take on the shape that you shape it once dry. If there are any creases, often they'll be hard to get out once it's dry. So now is the time to shape your work. If you liked this video and you want to see more of these techniques, please like and subscribe!